Hello everyone, good evening, happy Wednesday. Um, how is everyone? I hope everyone's good. I'm good, I'm freezing. I don't tolerate cold weather very much anymore and it's been pretty chilly down here. Let me turn down my, my feedback here. Hey guys. Uh, Becky, you say you don't have a visual. Uh, maybe go back out and come right back in if you can hear me. Hey, Loretta. Hey, Zona. Hey, Brenda. Hey, everybody. Hey, Charlene. Hey, Donna. Okay, so some people are joining in here, so we will go ahead and get started in a sec. Um, like I said, happy Wednesday. So, um, first and foremost... Um, welcome. If you guys have never been here before, my name is Katrina and I'm the cookie artist here at Dots and Bows Cookies. Hello everyone. Um, so we are changing things up just a little bit. Um, as most of you may or may not know, you'll know here in a minute, but um, we also run a subscription group every month where we have a tutorial group um, where I teach in-depth tutorials of cookie decorating. So um, our Wednesday to night tutorials are still going to be the same. Well, I'm still going to be decorating cookies. Um, but now we have it to where it's more of a laid back, uh, more of like a watching environment. Um, you know, I'll still answer some questions, um, but I'm kind of directing things more towards my tutorial group when I'm giving out a lot of, you know, um, in-depth information. So this is still, I'm still going to be doing tutorials. So don't worry there. We're still going to be decorating cookies. Um, but that's why you see the confessions of a cookie freak. So it's going to be more of like a little fun, interactive, just chatting, watching me work on cookies, all of that fun stuff. Um, okay. So also if you see, we have a keyword tonight, it's doodle. Um, if you type in doodle, um, into your comments here, um, it will send, our bot will send a message to your Facebook messenger inbox. If you follow those instructions, um, whenever you leave the live or after the live, um, follow those instructions in your messenger box and it will give you some fun stuff. So we put links in there to like our website, um, links in there to our products page to where you can get any, um, other products you see me using. Um, and then some just fun information about things on our website. Um, Hey Peggy, I'm good. How are you? Okay. So the first thing I just want to show you guys really quick. And we'll talk about it again in the end, but I wanted to um, just see, so you guys can see kind of some cool things we have going on. So as I mentioned, we have a cookie crew. Um, we have a group and the doors are open right now for enrollment. Um, it's a really fun group. Um, you get two actual cookie tutorials every month, um, in-depth tutorials where I sit and we go step by step and decorate cookies together. Um, every member also gets two free cookie cutters, completely free sent to you every month that you can use as a part of one of those tutorials. Um, there are just, there's so many things I could tell you about this group. I could go on and on and on. Um, you get so many perks. One of those perks is we are starting, well, not starting, we've been doing it. Um, the last couple of months we've been working on 3D cutters and we are pretty excited. So as a, just, I'm going to show you real quick as a part of our group, um, these are some that we just finished up designing and rolling out. Um, these cutters are exclusive to our cookie crew members. So, um, we actually have these three cutters that we designed, um, that will be decorate. Well, I'll be decorating them. Um, anyone that purchases them can decorate them and I'll probably do a fun extra little tutorial in our group, um, where we go over these. So these are another perk for being in our cookie crew. Only our cookie crew members can get to purchase these cutters. They are not available to the general public. Okay. So I want to show you, they're super adorable. We're happy about those. And the little hoppity Easter that you see up here, um, we actually have a matching stencil as well that are exclusive. Um, let me cut back over here. That our cookie crew members get. And here is the actual stencil. So if you can see that, that matches our cookie cutter. So it's the hoppity Easter. And then we have this left blank here so you can pipe in your little egg shape, your egg design. So anyway, I want to go over that and show everybody that while I have everybody here. So if you are interested, if you put in doodle, we have a link to our website that gives you all the information about our cookie crew and how to sign up. It's a lot of fun. Our members love it. I love it. We have such a blast in that group. So, okay. So let's talk about what I'm going to be making tonight. 
I want to do something fun, something a little bit different. I also wanted to show you guys some cookies that you can make that are really good for Valentine's Day that are not hard at all, that are really quick if you want to make them as sets. Um, you know, anything like that. And I'm telling you, you're going to see how quick and easy they go. Hey, Jen, how are you? Hey, Denise. Okay, so like I said, I want to do something fun and cool. So you can see these are both rectangles. They're just a rectangle cutter. Super simple, super easy. You can get one of these anywhere. Um, when I was thinking about doing something different, I was like, you know what? I love like old school stuff, right? So back in when I was a kid or like junior high, the big deal was then cassette tapes were still around, right? CDs were just getting ready to roll out. So the big deal for us was you make a mixtape for somebody, right? If you had a crush on somebody or if you had a boyfriend, a girlfriend, whatever, you put a mixtape together and you gave it to them as a gift. So um, I decided we're going to make a mixtape cookie. And then this over here is going to be a cute little letter. So <clears throat> we actually, like when I was growing up, one of the fun things to do was you would, girls did this a lot. Guys, boys didn't do it, I don't think as much, but girls did it for sure. Um, you would write out a note to your crush and you would say, you know, will you be my boyfriend? Will you be my girlfriend? And it always had the yes and the no and would say like circle one. And, you know, that person would circle what their answer was and give it back to you. So we're going to make one of those two tonight on this little notebook paper. It will be a notebook paper, but yeah, that's going to be paper. So all I did when I made these cookies, um, when I baked them, this one you can see has the three holes for the notebook paper. Um, I just made those with a straw. And then with the, the cassette tape, that has the holes in the bottom as well, or through it. And how I did that was I have, yeah, the check yes or no, or circle yes or no, yes, for sure. Um, I have a circle cutter set, and it has this teeny tiny little size one. And that's what I used here um, to make the, the center holes in the cassette where you would wind up the cassette. Okay. So the way that I am going to do these, um, I'm actually going to do some designs here on this white part, because this would be like where the label was on the cassette tape. I'm gonna do something on there first because it's gonna be easier. I'm gonna put some black icing down for the cassette tape, but I wanna do all of, I'm gonna be using, by the way, edible markers tonight for everything, for all of our little doodling and stuff on there. Um, so I'm gonna do that part first that way I'm not gonna drag my hand through wet black icing or anything that we put down. And then we'll also, we're gonna go back and do some fun stuff on the paper. So let me make sure I have a good view for everybody on both angles here. Okay. So what I thought would be cute was, um, I am going to do some black, like horizontal stripes across here. And then we're going to write like mixtape here on the top and maybe do a couple of cute little doodles like a pink heart on it, um, stuff like that. Hey, Pam. Hey, Marilee. Thank you. Hey, Teresa. How are things in Australia? Good, I hope. Okay, so I'm going to show you a really quick and simple way that you can um, make straight lines on a cookie like this. You can do a couple things. You can use like a ruler if you want. Um, what I like to do and was handy is I have a ton of cardstock. Um, so you just want a straight edge on something, whether it be paper. Um, I like to use cardstock because it's a little bit thicker. It's not real thin paper. You can do, oh, it's hot there. Oh yeah, I always forget you guys are like the opposite of us. Um, I'm turning this sideways. I'm, I'm gonna be working like this. It's easier for me from this side. Um, but yeah, I like to just use cardstock and lay it down and do it from that way. Like I said, you can use a ruler, um, whatever you like to use. So like I said, I am just going to draw some lines across here. And I think the top one I'm gonna make, so it's a little bit thicker up here because this is where we're gonna write. It is cold in Dallas, right, Peggy? Peggy, you know what? I am having in-person classes. I'm having one Friday the 1st, February 1st. We're doing a Valentine's class. Um, and then it looks like I'm going to have a private class on the 8th. It was supposed to be a public one, but I think um, I'm having some ladies book it up full. Um, 
but then I have something in the works and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be having some more classes open um, probably in March and April. So I'll let you know about that too. Okay, Liz. Okay. So I did, let me turn this back so you can see it. I did one line because this is where we're going to write like our mixtape up here. So this, you know, we're making this look like it's that little label on the cassette tape. Then I am going to make some more like smaller lines. So I'm just kind of lining this up so it's even with the line that I just did. And this icing is completely dry, by the way. I did this earlier today, um, earlier this morning, and it's been drying. And then I think I'm going to do like maybe two more lines, right? So it has kind of like that, that lined look. You could do, you know, like I said, anything you really wanted to do. Yeah, Peggy, we would totally love to have you. All the information for it is on our Facebook page and we have the signups on our website. So if you wanted to join the class, you can definitely do that if you so choose. I haven't even released what we're going to be making yet, but it's going to be, I'm going to pick one of the designs that I did for my Valentine orders. I just haven't decided which one I want to do because I love them. I love them all. So I, I'm having a hard time deciding which one I want to do for class. Okay, this last line I'm just going to do all the way across. So you can see how simple this really doesn't take very much. Okay, so then we have some lines on our label here. And so I think it would be cute. I'm going to write mixtape at the top here. And I'm going to do this. We're trying not to smear anything else. And this can be totally, you want it to look not perfect, right? Because it just, it's going to look like, you know, somebody just wrote this on the top here. Okay. So we have mixtape. And then what I thought would be cute, so let's do like, like a little red heart up here. So I have a red, most of the ones I'm using tonight is the one we put the link in for. These are the food doodler markers. Um, so if you put in doodle, there's a link to our product page where we have these listed. Some of them are just other various ones that I've picked up in different edible marker packs. Um, I think I'm going to put like a little red heart up here or pink or whatever color this comes out of. Right. And we're, it's going to look just very, we want it to look like someone colored this, right? You don't want it to look really perfect. You just want it to look like somebody legit went in with a marker and they doodled all of this on here for their crush or their boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever. Okay. So there's like a little heart there. Um, and then I think what I may do is I may like color in one of the stripes down here, like a color. Um, maybe we'll go in with like this blue. Let's see how this, I'm going to grab a different blue. Let's see how this goes. So whoever sent someone a mixtape? Yeah, we can do an XO. That would be cute too. Did anybody ever send their friends, their boyfriend, girlfriend, their crush? Did anybody ever send anyone a mixtape? I don't think I've ever sent one to someone, but I think I've, I received a couple of them. I of course don't have any anymore. 1989. I know, right? This is so that time period. And I don't care if I get any on the cookie down here, by the way, because we're going to be covering that up with black icing. We're going to cover all that up. I'm just kind of, I don't even care if it looks perfect because this is going to be like someone colored this in. Because that was the fun thing to do on these cassettes too was you got to decorate it and write on them. And... You still have yours? I wish I did. It would be fun to go back and look on. But I don't. I'm trying to see if I had, I thought I had a purple color in here. Maybe I don't. 
We're going to do maybe like an XOXO, XOXO up here. That would be cute. Let's do that. Let's just put it like an orange or something just to make it different. We'll do like orange and black. Your husband made that Tina. That's so cute. That's really cute. I feel like it's kind of like a lost art, right? Because you know, cassettes, cassette tapes went to the wayside. Um, you know, same thing with like letters and stuff like that. No one, or some people may, you know, some people may still have, I have letters and stuff that you know, I've kept from when I was younger and little love letters and stuff like that, but I know not everyone keeps, keeps everything, but yeah, I know, right? There's nothing to play them on because no one has cassette. If they do, it's just one they had. Um, but yeah. So now I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to do some outlining in black and then we'll flood in some of these areas. Um, once I have that dry after a little bit and we go work on our paper, um, I'll come back and we'll add just a few little fun details. You still listen to him, Becky? That's cute. If I still had mine and I had a player to listen to them on, I really would. Aw, see, it's so sweet. I know, right? The playlist. That's what I was thinking about today. I was like, our kids have no idea because now it's not really tangible. They send each other playlists. You know, my kids don't even know what a cassette tape is. You have a cassette stereo. <laughs> I wish I still had one. You know what I think I had until up until a couple years ago? I think I still had my, um, my CD Walkman. I still had one of those up until a couple of years ago. I think I threw it out or something. I don't even know what happened to it, to be truth be told. I was also thinking about today, which I thought about, oh, that would be a fun thing to do on Cookie too, but I thought about it kind of late, so I didn't do it. But um, So when I was younger, like in elementary school and junior high, um, one of the things that especially girls did was they made those notes that you fold up, right? And you can like turn your fingers in them and they, you can open them up and they have like the, the flaps open up and it says different stuff inside. Did anybody have those? Um, I was thinking about that today. How no, they don't do that. You know, I don't. Kids don't do that anymore. I don't think they might. I mean, my second grader doesn't talk about it or anything, but I guess they might. You have your Sony Walkman. Yeah, I had one up until not too long ago. That was like my jam. Like in junior high, high school. That I mean. High school started kind of phasing into um, CDs, and you know, but I had the CD, the CD Walkman. I mean, that was my thing for like a long time. Before that, I had a cassette. Okay, so I outlined around the outside, and then like around this inside label. This is a little bit thicker, um, so I'm gonna outline everything in that, and then I'm just gonna go back in and flood it in. Yeah, the fortune teller thing. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. They still do those, Terry? Oh, Pat, she does? Yeah, you know, and of course, I think it's something that they start doing when they get a little older. I mean, my daughter just turned eight, so I don't think she's necessarily really gotten into that stuff yet. Because I think they start getting into that more, too, when they're, like, really starting to notice boys a little bit more. Um... That, those were fun times, though. I remember us making those all the time. Did any of y'all make the, um, play the game MASH? Has anyone heard of MASH? They do, Liz? They still sell them? Hmm. That's a good idea, Lori, to make it as, like, a study guide. Hey, Ressie. Hey, Lori. Oh, no worries. We're just playing here. We're making some cute old school throwback cookies. 
I mean, when I think of myself, I think I'm older. I know I'm not. I know I'm not. Like, I'm still relatively young, but to me, I feel older. I'm sure if I told you all how old I was, you'd laugh and be like, you're not old. I definitely don't feel like a spring chicken anymore. So I'm just flooding it in now. This is like a flood consistency black. So now I'm going in and just filling in all these areas with black. I could sit and think about things all day, you know, like we used to do. And I couldn't tell you right now if kids still do it or not. I really don't know. I would only know if, like, I heard about my kids doing it. And I have two. I have a 16 and, well, he'll be 18 next week. And, of course, you know, they're too cool for all of that kind of stuff anymore. Now, like you said before, all they do is they share playlists with each other and stuff. Like they're friends and I guess girlfriend, boyfriends, whatever. You did books where you put a person's name. I can't see the end of it, um, Peggy. What you were saying you put a person's name on but do y'all remember i don't even know if they still do this y'all have to tell me if you're a teacher or whatever but do kids even still make like book covers and stuff anymore like the old school like paper book covers and you would write on them and you know doodle your stuff on them and all that and like have them personalized do they even do that That was a big deal too. That and if you had um, Trapper Keeper, the Trapper Keeper was a big deal. Um, when I was in school, you know, everybody would personalize their Trapper Keepers and I know that I'm still relatively young, but like I said, some days I'm like, oh, I don't feel young anymore. But that's only some days, some days. And mentally, I still feel like I'm like, I don't know, like 18 or 20 sometimes. Okay. So there's where I flooded in with all the black. Okay. So we're going to let that sit over to the side while we work on the other cookie and just kind of let it crust over. And then we'll come in and do a fun couple, just a couple of details around the cassette part. Um, oh, the gum wrapper chains. Yeah, those are fun. Okay, so here's our little paper cookie. So what I'm going to do um, for this to look like notebook paper, and I know there's stencils out there and I actually own one that you can like airbrush to make it look like notebook paper. However... I am not a huge fan of it. I feel like it gets too fuzzy in some areas if, I don't know. And plus I have, oops, I just nicked that with my nail. Um, and sometimes I, you know, these have like the little holes on the side, so it's not completely even. So I don't, I didn't want to mess it up with airbrush. I figured I would just do lines. So we're going to do it the same way. This is like the slower way of doing that. Um, so we're going to just use another straight edge, like I said, and we're going to make our all of our blue lines for our notebook paper, and then we'll do our one margin line over here in the pink, and then we'll write some fun doodle stuff on that one as well. Oh my gosh, the Trapper Keepers were like legit. For real. Like that was the thing. So when I make my top line, I'm going to make it where it has like that bigger margin at the top of the paper. And then as we go down, I'm just going to make the lines a little bit thinner than that. So it looks like real notebook paper. So like I said, if you wanted to use a lot of stencil makers, sell stencils, I have one. I'm just not, every single time I've used it, I've not liked the outcome. 
I like how crisp you can make the lines when you're using an edible marker. So I just do them like that. But, um, you know, if I had a ton of them to do, I don't know. I was going to say, if I had a ton to do, I might airbrush. But even then, I don't know. I'm just not super excited about how they look. I like doing them like this because I like how crisp the lines are. This is a pretty simple way to do the notebook paper. Um, you just take any straight edge. Like I said, I'm just using a piece of cardstock I had and a because I have tons of it and little booklets and stuff. Um, you can use a ruler, any straight edge item you want, paper, cardstock, anything like that, and you just go along and you just use it as your guide and make your lines. I'm gonna make one more line down here, which is kind of tricky because I'm kind of like getting to the curved part down here at the cookie. So I'm trying not to move anything. Okay. So there's our blue lines of our notebook paper. And you can see it doesn't take it didn't take too terribly long to do that part. A trapper keeper. Okay, so a trapper keeper um, was like this big folder, right? And you could put the smaller, like, um, like mead, like paper folders that have the three holes in them. Um, it had like a binder clips in the center and you could put those folders in there and paper and all kinds of stuff. And, um, it would like latch shut, but you could doodle on them and do like your own designs and stuff. And they usually have like a plastic layering. Yeah, Rusty, there is one. Um, I know that the Cookie Countess makes one, I believe. I think that's who I ordered mine from. But a lot of different stencil makers have them. Yeah, it does give a much cleaner finish. I agree. That's kind of why I like doing it this way versus a stencil. The lines get really blurry um, sometimes when you're stenciling. Okay, so you can see I just did the one vertical line in the pink. And our notebook paper is done. So then what we can do is, I thought, like I said, we're going to write like a little note on it. So I'm just going to go in with black because it's probably easiest to see. And you guys can see like how quick you could make these, right? If you made a mixtape in this and maybe a heart or something like that as a little set, so cute and easy. You're only using two icing colors, white and black. Yeah, I don't, some of them call it notebook. Some of them call them pinstripe, some kind of stripe. Just look in the striped stencils and you'll see it. Um, it'll just be just all stripes. Um, and then they don't, you just turn it, you know, and do one line for the pink. Pat, yes. I think you were, you were not, you were not here when we were talking about it earlier. I don't think you had joined us yet. These are for our cookie crew. This is going with, um, you saw it earlier in the crew, our, our Easter cutter set that we have. Okay. So like I said, we're just going to write a cute little note. So I'm going to, and we'll do some doodles on this one too. So I'll write up here, um, will you be my boyfriend? And then I'll say, um, circle one. Yes or no. Okay. And then we'll do another cute thing. We're going to do like, um, let's go on with like a green and a pink and we'll do, Hey Gloria. So up here, I'm going to do K, um, let's do black in the center, plus, we'll do, we'll do my husband and I's initials, that'll be cute, K plus S, and then let's do like another little heart, yeah, some hearts, let's do like a little heart here. And again, like I said, you want it to look really 
you want it to look like marker, right? You don't want it to look perfect. So we'll do like a little heart here. Let's do a heart over here. Um, maybe we'll do another little heart down here. Y'all tell me what else you think would be cute on here. I'm trying to even think. I never doodle a lot to... I don't remember writing very many little notes. Hey, Linda. Oh, thank you, Gloria. Yeah, they're going to be really cute. XOXO. Yeah, we can do another XOXO. Let's do like in blue. Let's do like blue and green or something. Um, Bunny, so I'm using a couple different kind. Some of them are food doodlers, and we put a link on our product page for these. Um, this other set, I think I got a, like my local cake and cookie. It's just another edible marker. Um, any edible marker will work. I know, right? Now he has to come circle one. Let's do, we're going to do, let's do an X and an O up here. Little letters and stuff. And I think it's because I was a little bit more shy. And I think I was honestly worried about like the rejection. <laughs> so I don't remember sending that many, but yeah. Maybe I did. I can't even really remember. What do you guys... Oh, sign your name? Yes. Okay, so let's do... We'll do a heart, and then I'll write my name here. So let's see. Let's do a another little heart here. And then I'll sign my name. Hey, Kathy. How are you? Okay. Yes? What do you guys think? Pretty cute, right? Will you be my boyfriend? Okay. So this is, if you guys think of anything else you want to add, like a couple little small things, we can add something too. Okay. So here's our mixtape. Let me actually move this. Okay. Here's our mixtape back. And this is actually, I think, dry enough that we can probably add some details. It doesn't take very long. It wasn't a super thin flood. Um, you know what? I can tell you for sure what the cookies are. Let me get my ruler. So this rectangle is a four inch. It's four inch by about two and a half. So it's four inch long and about two and a half inch wide, I guess you want to say, or tall. Okay. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna come in here and let's just do like a quick kind of square outline in the center here. which you guys probably can't even see that. It's so hard to see with the black. So can you see, let me turn it a little bit. It's hard to see with the black on black and the light glare on it. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Um, that way maybe you can see it if I zoom. It's kind of hard to see. It's hard to see with the glare on the icing being wet. And then I'm going to come down here and we'll do like where the tape has, the cassette tape has like the little, oh my icing's curly. They ha it has like this little section on the bottom. And again, I know you probably can't even see that. Can you see where I put that line down there? You can see it? I feel like I can't see it. Uh, Marian says, what are the normal size cutter to get? Most cutters, Marian, are going to run anywhere between 
three-ish to four inches. That's usually like an average. Um, it just depends. You know, some cutter makers will make some um, different sizes. They'll do like one design and they'll do like many sizes at a more of an average size and then um, maybe like a larger size. So every, every maker is different. Okay, can y'all see that? I feel like I can't see it, but if you guys can, then that works. You see like the little, um, they're almost, they're not buttons, but they're like almost like a little, they're not screws either. I don't even know what to say. They're like little, where they put like the tape together, where the tape would like snap. So we'll put that on there and I'm trying to think of anything else. I think, I may just leave it like that. I don't want to add too much to it. I don't want it to start looking weird. Um, Loretta, I, it depends if I'm going to be doing a bunch in one order, then I may upcharge for that. Usually though, if it's not a ton, then I don't. Um, so yeah, it just depends. So can you guys see that? Cute, right? So for anybody that wasn't in here um, earlier, real quick, I just want to jump over and show you guys real quick again. We'll come back to the cookies in a sec. Um, if anybody's interested in the cookie crew, our doors are open right now, and they're going to be closing up here probably in a few days. So if you guys are wanting to get in on that action, um, read about it on our website, but we have a ton of stuff in there. I think it's a great, it's a great value. Um, and I'll be up front with you and tell you, you, there's no other groups that have what we have. And I'm not trying to toot our own horn when I say that. I'm just saying that as a fact. Um, I think it's great. You know, you get a great community. Our ladies in here are awesome. Um, and we just have a lot of stuff going on. We try to give a, a lot to our crew members because we know, you know, you guys are spending time with us. You're spending your money to be here with us. We're going to give, give you what you're, what you're going to give your money's worth. You know, you're going to learn a lot and you're going to get stuff out of it too. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested, we have the doors open now, um, for our next month. Oh, I wanted to show you guys too. Well, I have people on here. I'm going to cut back over cause I want to show you something cute because the people in our crew saw this and I posted it on our page, but check out how cute this cookie is y'all. This is just one. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. This is one of five cookies that we're going to be decorating next month. So if you sign up before our window closes this time, this is one of those cookies you'll get to decorate. So, um, which I'm totally in love with this. Legit, not even kidding. I walk by every day where these are sitting when I made them and I look at it. I just sit and I look at it because it's so cute. Um... But yeah, this is one of them that we're doing. And then the Easter ones we showed you, that will be some stuff for the following month when we work on our Easter designs. We always work a month ahead um, because I want you guys to, just like we did Valentine's Day here in January, our ones we just did last week were all um, Valentine's Day designs. So we do it a month ahead so that we can let you guys learn new techniques and things you may want to do. If you're wanting to give them to friends or family, if you're wanting to market them in your own business, whatever you want to do. Um... So we always do a month ahead. So like these we're doing for February are more like the spring. They're all spring themed. Um, we're also doing some St. Patty Day ones. Um, and then the next month is March, but we're doing Easter ones the, the month early. So um, those cutters you saw are going to be some those exclusive cutters were getting to be made available to our cookie crew. So anyway, um, I just wanted to show you because I know not everyone may have seen those, but that's super cute. We're going to be doing the cute moss and everything. So we're going to have a lot of fun with that set. So what do y'all think of our, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. What do y'all think of these super cute, easy Valentine cookies? Y'all saw it does not take much white and black icing and fun with some markers. You could put these like in any set, super easy for Valentine's day. Give me some hearts if you are lacking it. Okay, does anyone have any other questions for me? 
about anything you saw me do tonight, um, any products you saw me use, any questions about Cookie Crew, anything like that. This cookie, Veronica? No. So every month, um, we have a main, we have two cookie tutorials we do. We have a main tutorial where we do five cookies. Um, they, all five cookies are not the same. They range from beginner all the way to an advanced level. Um, this is really easy, believe it or not. This hovers between like a beginner and intermediate level. It's really easy. I promise you it's not hard at all. And I walk step by step. You can ask anybody that's in my crew. I have no problem. You know, we do step by step and I make sure we take our time and everybody gets their time to do what they need to do if they're decorating with me live. Um, but we have the one main tutorial where it's five cookies, beginner to advanced, and then we also have a mini, or, mini tutorial where I do a few. Um, and you don't have to participate in any of them. You don't have to participate in the bonus. I call it the bonus tutorial. It's the smaller one. Um, it's more if they want to just watch and some learn some new techniques for me and stuff. But if they want to decorate along, like this month, a lot of people did. And I'm totally cool with that. I love it. So we decorate along. So again, that's another one I just walk you through and we do step by step. Um, Wanda, mine are three eighths of an inch. All my cookies are always three eighths of an inch. Um, Sheila, the cost, it is $29.99 if you're in the States. Um, because it, when we first started out, it was 27, but we had to raise a little bit to compensate for the shipping charges since we send everybody two free cutters and we don't charge you anything, no shipping or anything. So it's $29.99 a month. You get the two free cutters, um, the two guided tutorials. You get also an icing prep tutorial where I walk you through mixing all the colors you're going to use, the consistencies, all of that stuff. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a lot of, we give a lot of information there to everybody. So if you're wanting to learn, it's a great asset. Um, Veronica, if you type in doodle here in the comments, um, it'll send a, we'll send a message to your inbox and there'll be a link in there for you to check it out on our website to sign up. Um, Cheryl, you can. Yeah. So anytime you're in the group, um, if you sign up in the group, all of our past tutorials are there as well. So when you get in the group, not only are you getting the tutorials from then on, as long as you're a member, you also get all of the old tutorials that we've done in the past that are there in the group. So yeah, you can go back and watch them at any point. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Pat, Pat makes it fun too, y'all. She's a blast. Yeah, Ressi, we do a ton of um, beginner stuff in there. And matter of fact, I mean, a lot of our crew members are beginners just beginning into the cookie world. So we do a lot of stuff from, from foundation and build up. Yep. All right. Does anybody have any other questions for me? If not, I am going to clean up my mess in here. I actually cleaned my cookie room today. Y'all, you would be proud. I got it all organized back up and cleaned back up and, mm. But it's good. We're good. It's fun, right, Ann? Yeah. It's super fun. Like I said, yeah. these are so easy. And it's so easy. You can do whatever you want. I mean, you could even customize these for someone. If someone wanted to, like, add their name on one, if they wanted to do custom on here, super, super easy. You're just writing with marker. Pat, you're so funny. Pat keeps us entertained, y'all. If any of you guys are local, by the way, and you missed me say it earlier, we are local to the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, I'm having cookie a cookie class on February 1st. We still have a few seats available in that class. So if you want to come to that, it'll be a Valentine-themed class as well. Um, Faye, I did these two cookies tonight. The mixtape cookie, little cassette tape cookie, and the notebook cookie. This mushroom cookie is going to be one of the cookies we're doing in our cookie crew next month. Okay. All right. Well, thanks so much for um, joining us tonight. Um, I had a lot of fun. I, th I hope you guys liked these. There's something just a little bit different, a little bit of a twist. So, um, yes, Bunny, I'm doing a pop-up shop. Pop-up shop will be happening um, February 13th if you're local. Yes. I did pre-orders, but I filled up really fast on those. 
um, cause I was taking kind of a limited number cause I knew I'd be doing pop-up shop, but if you're local, my pop-up shop's February 13th, but I'll repost about that as well. All right. Um, Adriana, the class is, if you're in the States, it's $29.99. If you are in Canada, it's $36.99. And we also just now opened an international option, um, where you still do get the cutters. Um, and if you type doodle into the comments here in the live, um, we will send you a message to your Facebook messenger inbox and there'll be a link in there. Um, once you follow the instructions, there's a link directly to our website, to the sign up page where you can read about it and sign up if you choose to do that. All right. Love you too, Pat. I, Linda, if you want to drive down here, you can have a private class anytime you want. You and dad can come down anytime you want. Hey, Ressi, if you put in doodle and follow the instructions in your um, messenger box, um, it'll send you a link right directly to our website to the sign up page and you can read everything about it there and that's where the sign up is. Okay. All right, y'all. Well, I am going to go ahead and sign off for tonight. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys pretty soon. You guys have a great night. Bye.